Welcome back to DT Daily. I'm Casey Montoya. In today's big tech news, Dish Network wins the spectrum for 4G usage. Facebook is rated the best place to work. Netflix says Google Fiber is the fastest ISP in America. And Trent Reznor and Dr. Dre debut a new streaming service called Daisy. Dish Network has been hoping to bring 4G to the world with a slice of frequency spectrum it owns called AWS 4, and it looks like the FCC is letting their dream come true. The commission approved a proposal to use Fish's wireless spectrum for mobile data purposes. While Dish is saying it will consider its strategic options, rumors suggest the bandwidth will be auctioned off or Dish will partner with another company to bring the idea to fruition. Facebook is the best place to work in America, according to job community site Glassdoor, which just put out its annual list of 50 best companies to work for based on a questionnaire sent to users. The online survey put Facebook in the number one spot for its high-ranking jobs in satisfaction, work-life balance, and career advancement opportunities. Google came in at number six on the list, while professional social network LinkedIn ranked 14th. Apple, on the other hand, fell to number 34. Google Fiber's one gigabit per second user internet service is blowing away the competition and Netflix is already proudly telling it to the world. The video streaming platform reported Tuesday, Google Fiber is the most consistently fast internet service in the U.S., clocking in at a modest 2.55 megabits per second on average. While it may be a far cry from the top speeds, it still is the best to the closest competition, Verizon Fios, which averages 2.19 megabits per second. Unfortunately for most of us, Google Fiber is currently only available to residents of Kansas City. Musicians Trent Reznor and Dr. Dre announced this week a new music streaming service called Daisy. The service is built by Mog, an on-demand streaming service Dre bought earlier this year through his Beats brand. Daisy will offer users music suggestions that come from real humans rather than an algorithm, which powers most streaming radio services. In an interview with The New Yorker, Reznor compared Daisy to having your own guy when you go into the record store. Daisy will go live sometime in 2013. That does it for DT Daily. Check back with Digital Trends later when we explore why Apple's decision to build some of its products in the U.S. still won't revive manufacturing in the country.